Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be trying the new Pattern Beauty blow dryer, which I am super excited to share with you guys my thoughts. So let's get into it. So it is time to wash my hair. Oh my goodness, I've been trying to stretch wash day. So I put my hair in kind of a like updo, kind of like this yesterday. I put a little photo right here. So that's why it's like stretched out this way. But it is time to get in the shower and wash our hair. So I thought I would include this part because I actually haven't done an updated, I guess, wash day routine over here i have been using olaplex products um, to shampoo and condition my hair so i am just going in with those i'll have the exact numbers in the description box if you guys want to know what i use and then of course when i did the conditioning step i actually worked that in section by section and i detangled using the felicia leatherwood brush and once i did that i took it out of the sections and rinsed out the conditioner and that was it a real quick and easy wash day oh my goodness you guys i don't even know how to film it has been such a long time since you guys have seen me in this angle it honestly took me a while to remember how to set up my camera i got a new mic so i was also setting that up anyway so i got the pattern beauty blow dryer i am super excited but this isn't just like any old blow dryer because it actually was created with curls in mind they haven't just straight up said it i don't think so i'm assuming based on them saying that this is a curl conscious blow dryer i'm assuming that this is basically not going to cause a lot of damage and I hope that I'm assuming correctly that is super exciting they also came out with a heat protectant and a shine spray so just looking on the website it's a few things that I did want to say and that it has two speeds and three heat settings and then on the back of the blow dryer which let's take it out I'm so excited here it is it is so pretty like and then you can see how it says pattern on this part you can honestly use this as decor in some way if you wanted to sitting out in your bathroom maybe propped up on the wall or something on the back you can activate the ions for smoothing or deactivate for volume so I'll definitely be activating it because I want to smooth and I'm assuming when you don't activate it that's more for when you want to use the diffuser attachment and then there's also a cool shot right here another cool thing is that it also has locking so revolutionary i don't know if they're the first to do this but i know with traditional blow dryers the attachment constantly falls off but this one actually locks in place and then you have to hold in the sides to release it i don't know how it's going to translate when i'm actually using it but that is such a cool feature so i'm so glad they have that so these are the attachments this first one is the brush which i really like it is such a cool attachment then you have the wide tooth comb which is cool as well then we have the diffuser it's a really good size too if you want to compare it to my hand and then of course we have the traditional concentrator nozzle today I'm actually gonna be using the brush attachment because I am gonna blow dry it straight I already detangled in the shower as you guys saw so I shouldn't have to do that again so we're just gonna go right in to using this so for First, I'm going to use the pattern heat protectant. This is a very different heat protectant than the ones that I usually use. It feels more like a um, like a oil spray almost. That's just like an observation. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Here we go. So I'm gonna set it to the highest fan and the middle temperature just FYI. Okay, I am not mad at that. Not mad at that. Let's finish this whole section and then we'll see how I feel. Okay, besides the fact that my hair looks like it needs a little bit of a trim, I'm getting one in about two weeks. Here are my thoughts, just first impressions. I think that this is a really nice blow dryer. I like the fact that it locks, so this does not move. So far, it has not moved. I haven't had to reattach it or anything like that, which is amazing. I would honestly buy this just for that feature alone. I also would recommend it if you want something that claims to be more curl conscious. But I'm gonna continue to blow dry my hair and we will do final thoughts. 
it has been a morning you guys i done done like 10 million outfit changes and makeup changes but we're here we got it and also just fyi if you're wondering why did you do a twist out on blow dried hair and that's because i find that my twist outs last longer on blown out hair as opposed to me starting with wet or damp hair so the pattern beauty blow dryer what are my final thoughts so just getting straight to the point there are three main reasons that i think if you wanted to get this blow dryer are good reasons to get it one the obvious thing is if you don't have a blow dryer this is a really good blow dryer to get it is very high quality from my first impressions and it has all the attachments you need so it can do multiple jobs in one you want to blow out as well as diffusing and a few other things two i kind of just touched on it but if you currently have a blow dryer and it doesn't have attachments i definitely think that you should check this one out not only because it comes with four attachments but because it has this locking feature that literally works i was actually kind of iffy on it before i tried it like is this actually going to stay in place but it absolutely does of course if you're not touching these while you're blow drying your hair which if you blow dry like holding this part which i was doing a lot of the time then you can do that by accident so just keep in mind on that but other than that the force of like you actually blow drying your hair does not make this come off which is super super helpful and then three which i think is kind of the most important part is that i didn't actually feel that this blow dryer was really hot but it still did the job of blow drying my hair so with that being said if you currently have a blow dryer that gets insanely hot to where you smell your hair burning then i definitely recommend you throw that one out and get this one or just a high quality blow dryer so overall this is a really great blow dryer for the reasons i just said and i probably missed some reasons i know i'm probably gonna get the question of how it compares to my current blow dryer the reverse air blow dryer so when it comes to when i want to do like a blowout i definitely would use that one over this one but it's not because there's anything wrong with this blow dryer just with traditional blow dryers i don't feel like it gets it as stretched out as the rev air blow dryer does so when it comes to me blowing it out i definitely will still use that one and the thing with that blow dryer is it only has one function it can only get your hair straight and this one it can get your hair straight it can diffuse it it has the concentrator which really helps to like i could use this right now to make my hair bigger but yeah so many things you can do with this one so yes let me know down in the comments if you guys plan on trying out this blow dryer i definitely would love to hear your thoughts on it also make sure you check out the description box for links to everything i used in this video plus the blow dryer make sure you subscribe before you leave and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and i promise i'll see you guys next time bye guys